Welcome to an Excel video on data cleansing. Very often in our workplace, we come across data that requires a lot of cleansing. One such example is a column that is supposed to contain only numeric values contaminated with alphabets and special characters. If the alphabets and special characters follow a certain pattern, we can use find and replace to cleanse the data. However, the situation that we come across normally are like the one that you see in column A of the worksheet shown on your screens. In column A, each cell has different alphabets and special characters and they do not follow any specific pattern. In such a situation, either we cleanse the data manually by removing the individual unwanted characters or find and replace individual patterns or if you are a little familiar with VBA, you might seek the help of a VBA expert to help you with a code or search Google for a VBA code to remove alphabets and special characters. In case you are not familiar with VBA and every day you come across data like the one shown on the screen and spend a lot of time cleansing this type of data, this video is for you. In this video, we shall explore a magical formula to remove all non-numeric characters in a column or extract only the numbers from a column. In order to extract only the numbers from column A, we shall use a combination of several Excel functions. There are several steps involved in this process. Let's say we look at the data in cell A2. First, we have to extract the individual characters from the cell check whether the character that we've extracted is a number. If it is not a number, we ignore that. If it is a number, we have to paste it in the new cell. For extracting the individual characters from this text string, we use the mid function. If we type equals mid, it requires three arguments. The text, which is the text in the cell A2, then starting number. Starting number is the position from which we want to start extracting the characters. The third argument is the number of characters that we want to extract, which in our case is a single character. With regard to starting number, we want all the characters to be extracted. So we have to start at position 1, extract one character, then go to position 2, extract the second character, and so on till we reach the last character. In order to do that, Instead of typing the starting number, we shall use a sequence function which will generate a sequence of numbers from 1 to the length of the string. Let's see how the sequence function works. Type equals sequence. Let's say we want a sequence of numbers from 1 to 10 to be printed in 10 rows. The rows will be 10, the start number will be 1, and the step will be 1. So the mid function will be executed for each starting position that is generated by the sequence function. Let's see what the sequence function does in this example. So let's type equals sequence. We want to generate numbers that correspond to each character in the string. The first argument is the number of rows. The number of rows will be as many rows as the number of characters in the string. To find the number of characters in a string, we can use the len function. So let's type len, start brackets, select the text, close brackets. So the first argument is complete. Let's type a comma. We do not require any columns, so type a comma again. The starting value will be 1 because we want extraction from the first character. And we want step as 1 because from the first character, we want to move to the second character, third character, etc by increasing one step at a time. Let's close brackets and press enter and see what happens. So it generates numbers from 1 to 7 corresponding to the number of characters in the string. We are going to use the result of the sequence function as the starting value of the mid function. So type mid, start brackets, the text would be a2, comma. the start number will be the outcome of the sequence function type a comma, and the number of characters that we want to extract is 1 at a time. Now let's press enter and see what happens. The mid function along with the sequence function extracts 
all the characters from the string in cell A2 and places them in individual rows. The next step is to check whether the character that is extracted is numeric or non-numeric. For that, we are going to use a simple trick. Supposing we add 0 to a number, we get the same number as the result. Suppose I multiply a number by 1, I get the result as the same number. However, if I add 0 to an alphabet, let's see what happens. Type equals, select an alphabet, plus 0, press enter, we get a value error. Similarly, if I multiply an alphabet by 1, press enter, we get the same error. So, we can either add 0 to the result of the mid function or multiply the result of the mid function by 1. And if it results in an error, we want to replace each error with a blank. Let's go back to our formula. So, I'm going to multiply the result of the mid function by 1 and we shall check whether this results in an error and if so, replace it with a blank. For that, we are going to use the if error function. Type if error, start bracket. The first argument is the value, which is this formula. If this formula results in an error, let's type a comma, value if error. We want to replace the error with blank, which is represented by two double quotes together. Close brackets, press enter. Now we find that all the errors have been replaced by blanks. Now we want to concatenate or join all these numbers in this cell. For that, we can use the text join function. Let's type text join, start bracket, the delimiter. So, what kind of separator do you want between these numbers when we join? We do not want any delimiter. Therefore, we type two double quotes together, which is a blank. Type a comma. Do you want to ignore empty cells? Type true. Type a comma. Text one is the result of this whole formula. Let's close brackets and press enter. We have successfully extracted all the numbers from this string. Double click the fill handle and copy the formula down. After extracting the numbers, we cut the header, control X and place it here. At the moment, in this column, what we see is the formula. In order to convert the formula into values, select the whole range, press control C to copy. To paste only values, right click, go to paste special and select values. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut control shift V to paste values from formulas. So let's press control shift V. However, you can see a green triangle at the top left corner of each cell with an alert. Expand the alert. You can see the problem, which is number stored as text. We want to convert them into numbers. For that, select the whole range, expand the alert, click on convert to number, and we have converted this into number. Then we can select this column, right click and delete. Let's say you get data like this every day and have to cleanse the data. You have to perform this process every day. Instead, we can create an Excel script, which will not only extract the numbers, but convert formulas to numbers, convert numbers stored as text into number format, as well as delete the column containing impure data. For creating an Excel script, we can use the Automate tab. The Automate tab is currently available in the latest version of Excel. However, to create and store scripts, you need to log in with your work or school email address. Let's click on Automate tab. In the Automate tab, you can see the scripts already provided by Excel. Similar to creating a macro by recording actions, you can record actions and create a script as well. Or you can type a new script if you're familiar with the TypeScript language. In the next video, we shall see how to automate the process that we demonstrated just now into an Excel script by recording actions and making some edits in the script. Hope you found this video useful. 
If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content, including 42 exclusive videos on Power BI PL300 certification exam. Please subscribe to our channel and while subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall be notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We are very grateful to our subscribers and viewers for their continued support. See you again with another video on how to create an Excel script to automate the process of extraction of numbers from a column. Have a nice day.